Hey everybody, Dieter Bone here for PreCentral.net, and I want to show you patches on WebOS 2.0. Start by launching developer mode. Up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right, B A S T A R T. And there it is. We launch developer mode enabler. You can see I've got developer mode on already, but I just want to show you that you can toggle developer mode in WebOS 2.0 off and on, and it doesn't require you to restart the device, which is pretty sweet. Uh, now, there is no quick, easy way to install um, preware on this device um, yet. Uh, we don't haven't got that done, but if you uh, go ahead and get the, uh, the latest WebOS doctor, you can uh, use it. With, along with the SDK to do it by a command line with Nova Term and wget and so on. So let's load up Preware here and you can see we've got it going and uh, it's loading up the package information and as we mentioned in our post from uh, Dev Day they are going to be updating uh, Preware they're planning on uh, making adding some 2.0 features so it launches faster which will be pretty exciting and uh, let's install some patches yo um, Let's see uh, patches that are available for WebOS 2.0. You may have seen on the site we just updated to show that uh, we've got our first patches from Sconix, and uh, this is actually really exciting um, because they may be the first uh, Node.js uh, service stuff available for WebOS 2.0 that didn't come from Palm. I'm going to go ahead and put in the uh, Today menu, which I love, which shows you your agenda on your Today menu. And it looks like there's other packages this depends on, so we'll install those as well. Installing new patch and ls diff and advanced system menus today menu. And we're going to actually reboot a little bit later because I want to install one more patch, which is my favorite patch, the one that we asked for at Dev Day. We decided that just type is cool, but boom action time is a, uh, a better patch. And I'll show you this here. It basically changes the words just type to boom action time because. Let's face it, that's, um, that's what WebOS is. You uh, crack it open and it's boom, action time. I don't know, we, we found that really amusing when we were at the bar. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and install that patch too because that's more exciting. And then we'll uh, go ahead and uh, reboot Luna here. And so it's gonna reboot and we'll see just how long this takes. I suspect it will be a little bit faster than what we're used to on WebOS 145. And it is making the poofing with the, uh, the palm the glow here. I guess feel free to skip ahead. <laughs> there we go. And there you can see, boom, action time, which is the whole point of just type. Crack it open, boom, you're ready to get stuff done. And we added that today menu. And it looks like that's not quite working yet. So I'll need to take another look at pre-work. I may need to install a framework for that to work. Let's take a look. Yep, system menus framework, forgot to do that. And it's the layouts and the groundwork for the other patches to work. Looks like they didn't get the uh, dependency it loaded into the patch there, so hopefully that will take care of that. And uh, any other patches for uh, Seattle BCC is ready to go for 2.0. Uh, weak numbers is ready to go, ringer switch icon, no snooze for banner. Additional speed dial keys. That looks interesting. Oh, you just get a little extra speed dial keys. That's okay. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to reboot here uh, and then um, or reboot Luna anyway. And then uh, once that's done, I'll uh, pause the video here so you don't have to watch the timer again. And we'll show you today menus working on WebOS 2.0. Back. And now that we've got the patch properly installed, there it is. I don't have any events for today, which makes me happy. Um, 
but pretty cool. So there you go. We've got WebOS 2.0, we've got patches, and uh, we've got boom action time. And uh, pretty exciting. Looking forward to a lot more patches and themes and everything else coming to WebOS 2.0. It is just as open and hackable as uh, previous versions of WebOS. And as you may have heard, Palm seems to completely embrace this stuff. They went so far as to fly out folks from WebOS internals to the event and ha let them give presentations there. So. Cool. Thanks, guys.